is up you guys welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is having an amazing day if you're new here i'm Brittany. i like try on haul videos this is one of my favorite types of videos to film and i have a really fun one for you guys today i've only ever done bikini and alphalete try on hauls in the past for you but this time around i have some clothes as you know i'm going on a big trip this weekend with my boyfriend brandon to barcelona and then england and then we're in italy for like 10 days and labor day was this past weekend or bank holiday if you're in the uk and there were tons of amazing, amazing end of summer sales. And obviously it's still summertime in Italy and here in Kentucky, so I can still buy summery clothes. So I didn't have a whole bunch of summer clothes to start with because I lived in Boston and then England and the summer lasts like one month. So I basically had like three dresses, <laughs> like nothing for a week long trip to Italy where it's hot or anything like that. So I did some shopping when all the sales were going on from Pretty Little Thing, Opali, and even a little bit of Windsor. So I'm gonna show you guys today all of the different things that I got. If you follow me on Instagram, at Fitbra Shaheen, or you follow my YouTube channel. I don't wear like dressy clothes that often. When I lived in Boston, I literally wore a dress like every single day and I cared a lot more about like fashion, but now I pretty much live in elfly clothing since it's like my job. So um, I have all kinds of like colorful, cute, dressy kind of items. I'm definitely not the most fashionable person in the world. Most of my clothes are solid colors and I'm just not amazing at styling stuff so i tried really really hard to kind of branch out of my comfort zone sorry mila's right here below me um and get some stuff that it's patterned and different colors that i wouldn't usually wear because obviously when brandon and i are on our trip i want to you know take cute photos together and just look cute for brandon it's so funny like i bought all this stuff and i'm like nervous to wear it like i haven't tried any of this on yet actually other than the dress that i'm wearing um i just steamed it and it's sitting back there with tags on it because we'll see how it goes i'll give you my first impressions i'm gonna try to like make outfits out of them because I'm also in the process of packing for this who knows how long trip and I'm going to try to pack like outfits so I don't pack a whole bunch of crap that I don't need because I am known for that I do that a lot so I'm gonna try to put together a bunch of cute outfits don't judge me I'm gonna try my best um, and I will leave the links down to everything in the description this video is in no way sponsored I am not affiliated with Windsor or Pretty Little Thing or Opali or any of the brands mentioned I would love to be because <laughs> I think their stuff is so cute um, but I've never been in touch with them anything like that so this is my completely honest review on everything and I will just put the links to all the things that I got from their websites I'll find those for you guys so that you can get your hands on it if you want um, and yeah we're gonna we're gonna do this and then we're gonna pack it all into a suitcase and it's gonna be great. So, wish me luck. Let's do the try on. Okay, so really quickly, for reference, Mila, where we can't play during this video, um, I am five foot seven, just about probably 129, 130 pounds, not so sure. Uh, and I'm normally a small or extra small and I wear like a size zero or a size two dress Most of these I believe including this are in a UK size four I'll link down in the description the sizes that I actually got if you want to like reference them I really just guessed because it's my first time buying stuff from these places. So yeah, we're gonna do our best We'll see what fits. We'll see what doesn't and hopefully it helps. Okay, so this first dress I don't know what it's called because I have taken the tag off but it is Awesome. I love it so much. I'm 100% keeping it. I went ahead and paired it with just some white sneakers and I just love it. It is so soft and comfy and girly. Um, it hits like right mid thigh on me. I don't have a bra on with it because I just don't really think that you need it. But yeah, it's just really girly and frilly and cute and I love that I can wear it with sneakers and it's just like casual and fun. So 100% keeping this one. Okay, so next up I have the jersey pant in stone and the white square neck top. And I got a size six in both of these. And I love these pants, they're so, so soft. I just paired them with this gold and white sandal here. Not the most comfortable shoes in the world, but they're cute. And then I just have this little tan bag that goes with it. And basically up close, I would say beware, these are quite see-through. I'm in this like green kind of underwear and I feel like you can see it a little bit. So definitely nude underwear with these. They are very thin, very stretchy, very comfy, um, and they're quite long on me. So they hit me like past my foot almost. So these may be almost better to wear with a heel, but they're super flattering. I love how they make my bum look 
<laughs> back here and they are really really high waisted which is good so they hit me like past my belly button here and then the top i actually got this recommendation from kiki fit because she wears this top i think it's so cute um and i just love the square neck i think it's so flattering and it has this kind of like wide neck here and thick straps and then this is the back of it I would say it's like a tiny bit big around here, but I do really like it and I think it's really cute. So I'll probably keep it. I would keep in mind that, I'll show you, the bra that I have on is like a straight across bra and normal bras come up like this and those show right here. So you definitely need one of these like, this is one of those bras that's like made to be strapless. So it kind of cuts this way. So you need one of those to kind of wear the top. Otherwise you can see your bra. Right here. But yeah, I, but yeah, I like this. I think I will hold on to this one. Okay, we're getting there. This is a bitch to put on. Let me be clear. And I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on like this and tie it. Or maybe it goes around your neck. I don't know. Okay, we have the outfit on. Thank the Lord hallelujah. Okay, so this was interesting to get on. Note that it sits very low on your chest. I was trying to button the buttons like over my boobs and that's why it wasn't getting on but I am unsure about this one I don't know right off the bat I'm kind of like do I look like Mary Poppins like I'm not sure about all the ruffles there's a lot happening here um but I feel like it might look really cute I have it on with just these little block nude heels these are from Target my jeans are from Windsor and I love Windsor I don't know if you guys know about Windsor but it's awesome because they have jeans in half sizes so I'm normally a two or a four and Windsor has a size one three and five and so on so I have these in a three so they're a really really good fit really really comfy this is what they look like this is what the back of the top looks like I'll show you the top kind of up close you can kind of see that it's like pulling there I don't know if it's supposed to do that like maybe it's too small on me very possible because like this button does not look thrilled you know like it doesn't I don't know I don't get it I feel like it's not supposed to look like that like maybe I did something wrong here okay so I looked at this in the mirror and I think I might actually like it I don't know it's really feminine and cute and I think the purpose of this bow is to cover that weird thing happening right here but I do like how open it is and it is very like girly and frilly and fun so Maybe. I don't know. Check out my Instagram. We'll see if I wear it. <laughs> All right. So next up we have this black top here and it is also paired with these Windsor jeans and the same block heel as before only in black from Target. And uh, I'm kind of on the fence about this top. It has kind of like a scratchy. It's not like the softest material and the arms are pretty tight. Um, I got this, I believe in a size four. Again, I'll leave everything down below and I couldn't wear a bra with it because you can like see the bra right here and i don't know i'm not totally sure about it it's a lot of belly for me i feel like maybe i could do like a high-waisted black skirt or like um i have like a pair of jersey high-waisted black pants that i feel more comfortable in i just don't really like walking around with all of this out it feels like a ton of skin to me so i'm a little torn i'm gonna try it on with a couple pairs of pants and see if i change my mind but i mean you can see me i'm literally like covering myself i just I don't think I'll keep this. It is really cute, but it's just like too much going on here. Maybe the trick is to size up a little bit so that you can tie it tighter and there's like some more material. If you like this, then it is a really cute top, but it's just a little bit much skin for me unless I can find the right bottoms to wear with it. So yeah, I'm gonna change out of this one. All right, so next up we have this yellow frilly bodysuit here. It has these little ties on the arms. I put them in like little bows and I just paired it with these sandals here. I'll show them to you up close. They're from um, the brand Italian Shoemakers and they're just like this, a little heel and they're super comfortable and kind of match everything. I just like having them for the summer if I want like a small heel. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got. I really like these like off the shoulder tops with like ruffles and the yellow is a fun summer color. Now we wear this bodysuit is, it does have that line where like 
I don't know, where like the top starts, you know what I mean? So you have to wear it with something high-waisted to make sure you kind of like reach that point. But overall, I really, really like this. I'm definitely gonna keep it. This is what the back looks like. And yeah, I think this is fun and very summery. Holding on to it. I am so excited about this. All right, so next up, we have this ruffle top here, and I love this. This is probably the most expensive thing that I bought. Uh, it originally was like 40 something dollars um, because it's woven and I guess there's just a ton of fabric But it definitely feels more expensive than the other items and I just think this is so Cute and the definition of out of my comfort zone. So I'm proud of myself for picking it up I just paired it with this little clutch here and the same shoes as the last outfit This should be my last one with these jeans. Yeah um, and yeah, I'll show it to you up close. So again, we're off the shoulder. Are you sensing a trend? Um, and there's just all these beautiful like layers. This is the weird tag that pretty little thing puts on their clothes. Um, and yeah, I think this is so fun. I paired it with this uh, triple chain necklace from pretty little thing as well. And I'll show you the back right here. And yeah, I love this. It does have like a bra kind of situation under here that holds everything down and then this just falls over it and the sleeves have all these different layers to them so yeah this is so fun and loud and really really cute and definitely holding on to this i love this one all right you guys next up we have this little polka dot long sleeve red dress situation uh, i paired it with those same nude block heels again and i like this i think it's really like cute and fun and i don't know like old school fashion in a way but it is extremely short so literally like i don't know like it's it's very short um in the back i feel like it looks fine i think i'm kind of just nervous like if the wind blows what will happen to me <laughs> if you know what i mean um but this is it up close it has these like wider sleeves and crosses here with all these frills and i paired it with this little bag here this is also from pretty little thing and it's um just one of their why can't i think of the name of this thing i don't know what these are called but you know what i'm talking about these fanny pack <laughs> this little fanny purse situation so i really like this i think it's cute it has um this chain so you can like hook it wherever you want so that um, it can be as tight or as loose as you want it to be and it has this little I think it's what is this like a dragon here and you can open it up and it's just big enough for like a cell phone and like you maybe your ID passport credit card that kind of stuff and I feel like it's really cute and you can also totally hook it just like on the last hook of the chain and wear it on your shoulder as a little purse um, I do like this I am a little nervous about how short it is but I think it would be perfect for like a chillier night just to wear like a long sleeve fun dress so I may hold on to this. I do think, again, it's really like feminine and fun. So, okay, so next we have a midi khaki dress. <laughs> it's called like a slinky dress from Pretty Little Thing as well. And this is so silky and comfortable. And I love that it's midi. So it's like knee length, which is cute for dinners or whatever. And it has this square top again with little spaghetti straps. And this is the back. I literally paid $4 for this dress, I'm pretty sure. It was like half off. And uh, the only thing with this one, and why I'm understanding why it was on sale, is I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can literally see through the fabric almost completely. Like, when I look in the mirror, I can see like the outline of the inside of my legs, like where the dress is covering. Like I can see that my legs go like this. And the back, I assume is also just as see-through. So. Not sure if I can actually wear this one unless I wear it with like uh, a slip dress underneath or if I only wear it at night when it's dark and you're not gonna be able to see through it. So maybe this is gonna be like a Brandon and I go to a nightclub kind of dress because I'm definitely not gonna be wearing this in any kind of light probably, uh, although it is really, really cute. I do have a slip though. So I guess if I wore it with a slip, I'd be 100% fine um, because I do like it. I like the color khaki. I think it's kind of fun and different. And I think the neckline is really, really pretty and so is the material. So I will keep it and figure out how to wear it without showing anyone what doesn't belong to them, you know? <laughs> so next up we have this sage green tie back dress. This is what it looks like. It has this straight across neckline here. It is pretty short and it's ruched all the way down, which I think is really, really flattering on like curves. And then the back, 
looks like this. It has this little tie here and it's open back. I absolutely love the back. I think it is beautiful, but the front is very see-through. So I just have pasties on, but I feel like you can even see the pasties. They are ah, noticeable. So this is another one I would probably have to wear some kind of slip with, or I would just actually throw on maybe like a bandeau or something like that. I do have a strapless bra, but I think it might show right here. So I'd have to kind of figure that out. But I mean, it isn't exactly daylight friendly. So another one on the list that I would probably only wear at night. I could probably wear this with like a little jacket and go out and be totally fine. I think moral of the story here because the other dress is the same material and it's the same issue. I think it's just beware of any of the items that are this like silk kind of material. And you can tell on the website because it looks like a shiny fabric when you purchase it. Um, so I would just be careful with any of those. Make sure if you're going to get them, you have a good strapless bra or a slip or something like that that you can throw on underneath it because since the material is so like silky, it is a bit sheer. So that's my two cents on that. I have two more things from Pretty Little Thing and then we're going to move on to O Poly. Okay guys, so next up we have this hook and eye chiffon sleeve dress from Pretty Little Thing and I paired it with these shoes right here. These shoes are Vince Camuto. I bought them in Boston ages ago and basically they just have straps like all the way down and they're all adjustable and they're really high yield but they're the most comfortable high heels I've ever owned. They were so worth the splurge. I wore them out when I lived in Boston and they match everything. So they're just like a good nude with some little gems on them. But this is the hook and eye dress and as you can see it has all of these hooks that go all the way down the front. This tie here in the front with the ruffles kind of like the top earlier and then the sleeves have the bell sleeve here with ties and it's this kind of like mesh chiffon material. I love this dress. I think it is so pretty and flattering and just like different. I definitely don't have anything like this. Uh, and it's really, really fitted here and bigger here. I wanna say that I could size down a little bit because this, there's a lot of space here that I don't necessarily need, but I think it's meant to like fit loose at the top and then tighter at the bottom. So I'm into it. It is a mini dress. It is short. You can kind of see where it hits me back here when I'm just like standing straight up. And yeah, this is the front of it. It has this crazy tag that I need to take off because this is a pretty little thing. I'm very into this. I think it's dressy, it's different, really, really cute. My only thing would be that it is a little bit shorter than I'm used to, but I think it's worth it and it's really, really pretty. So. All right, you guys, and finally, last but not least, I'm not gonna put this on because there's just kind of no reason to. All this is is a maxi skirt and it has this little tie at the hip um, and it's like a floor length, let's see, yeah. It's like a floor length maxi here that you can just throw on over a bathing suit. It is sheer, but when we're like walking around on the beach and stuff, when we're in Positano, <laughs> I wanted to have like a skirt just to throw on if I'm like walking around or if we go get a drink or whatever it is like that. Cause I don't love just like prancing around in my like tiny little bikinis in crowds of people, you know? You would think that I'd be okay with it considering I did it on a stage that time, but um, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm just that way. So I like to have a skirt just to kind of like cover things up and I really liked this white one. It's high waisted and it ties at the side. So this is a must have in my opinion. So we're gonna move on to Opali now. This is dress number one. As you can see, it fits me extremely well. No, this doesn't fit, this doesn't fit at all you guys. I got this in size UK6 US2. Normally I am 100% a US2 dress size, but as you can see, this dress is this very harsh silk material and it doesn't stretch even a tiny bit. So there is no zipping this up. I will never be able to get out of it if I zip it up. So this one's a no-go. This one's going back to you, Opali, which is sad because I've actually always wanted to order from Opali and I was so nervous to try on these dresses for that reason, thinking like, oh God, what if none of them fit? So uh, fingers crossed I have three more from there. Hopefully they fit, which is a shame because I do really like this, but yeah. Oh my. Okay, so next up we have this dress here. It is also a US2, and I'm suddenly really regretting not sizing up in these dresses because, whoo, is it tight? It is, it is tight. It's too tight to wear bra with as well. So I've got this. I am very undecided. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this dress. It is very short. It kind of comes up in a V here and it has all these ties here. 
The thing about these dresses is they're such a nice material. Like they feel expensive, they feel really nice. And like that's why I've wanted to order from them for so long because their stuff is so cute. So you can tell that it's worth the money. I just think that I should have sized up. So maybe size up if you're purchasing from Opali. This is the back here. Um, it's slightly longer than the front since the front does come up to this like V. And I don't know, it's like, it's such a sexy dress and it's so flattering here. Like, I do think that it's beautiful. I don't have anything like this or this color. I think it's just a matter of like, will I actually wear it? Because it is really short and it is really tight. And I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah, I was kind of like nervous about spending money on these and then them not fitting. So I'm feeling slightly discouraged, but it's fine. There's, there's two more and I have hope. I'm hoping that those fit. Um, this one is nice, but I don't know. I need to, I need to think on it and decide if I want to keep it or not. Okay. I love this one. Spirits are back. I absolutely love this one. I think, oh yes, I love this. This is what I wanted from Opali. So this is another Opali dress and this one fits very well. It's definitely snug. I'm pretty sure just all of their dresses are snug. Like as far as the sleeves go, and everything else like it is snug but I love this I think it's so freaking flattering this skirt kind of here has these like all this ruching down the sides and along the back and it hits you like high on the waist the material is so so soft and cottony and it has like these two little pieces here and the tie in the middle and it also even has ruching like on let's see if I can get it on the sleeves here on the inside so i think this is everything it is in the color cream it's not white uh so it actually goes freaking perfectly with the nude caputo heels right here if i can do this i love this outfit this i so 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 recommend i think it's so cute it pushes all of this up it's a thick material none of it is see-through even though it's a light color it's beautiful. I am a fan. Watch me wear this the very first night that we go out because I'm obsessed. Brandon actually asked me to send him a picture of the next dress that I put on and I don't think I want to because I want it to be a surprise because I really, really, really feel good in this one. Okay, and last but not least and 100% my favorite dress of all of the Opali dresses is this like violet pink. Oh, I love this dress so much. I think it's so flattering. It has all the ruching up and down. It literally fits like a glove. It feels so nice and like so uh, luxurious. I love it. It has this little like knot here in the front and I just think this is perfect. Like it fits so well. This is the back right here and this is kind of where it hits me. And I have the same nude shoes on and I would probably wear it with this little, this is just like a white jean jacket. So I'm 100% keeping this one and wearing it out. I feel awesome in this. I feel beautiful in this. It is bright, it's fun. This is my number one on the list. I just made a rhyme. Anyway, guys, I think that is going to conclude my Pretty Little Thing Windsor Opali clothing haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different than what I usually post on here and definitely let me know if you're interested in seeing more like fashion type videos, like stuff that I wear when I'm not on camera and I'm not at the gym and that kind of thing because I do really like making videos like this. I think I miss dressing up a lot. So this has been a lot of fun for me and I'm so, so excited to wear it on my trip that I literally leave for tomorrow. My mom actually just stopped by to drop me off a suitcase so that I can pack and she is taking me to the airport literally in the morning. I'm gonna see Brandon in like 24 hours. I can't even wrap my brain around it. So I'm just so excited and yeah, I think that is gonna be it. Again, you guys, I'm gonna link every single item down in the description because obviously I didn't say like the name of every item. So I'll put everything down there with the name, the size that I got and a link to get the item yourself. If you wanna check it out and it will all be in order of like what I tried on so that you can just kind of like look through the video and see which pieces they are. So yeah, that is going to be all for this one. So thank you guys for the support. As always, I love you so much and I will see you in the next video.